Now I'm gonna show you numbers, which is similar to Excel, but actually totally different. First, I'm gonna launch the application and start a new spreadsheet. I could start a blank spreadsheet, but again, I'm gonna use one of their templates because they're terribly useful. We have checklists and mortgage calculators, budgets, travel planners. I'm gonna go with the personal budget. Now, it's filled in a couple things for me, but as usual, I can edit them to say whatever I'd like. So, let's go ahead and make a budget. I'm gonna double click in the cell, or double tap in the cell, enter my amount, and move on to the next one. Let's say my budget for gas is $100 a month, and my budget for other is $500. Now I have my budget, done. Now, down here, I can enter my transaction. I'll double tap, enter the date, enter a description, enter the category, and you can see that this $25 that I just spent on gas also is reflected in my table up here. I know I have $75 left that month for gas. As I fill in the data, you'll also see the charts up here change. I've decided that I don't really like the charts up here, so I'm gonna add my own. I'm gonna go up here, choose charts, choose a bar graph, then double click, and I'm able to choose which columns I want reflected in that chart. I can change the title, then, once I'm happy with my document, again, I can print. Or, I can go off into my spreadsheets, and I can email as a spreadsheet, I can share it via iWork.com, I can send it to iTunes, copy it to my iDisk, or copy it to a WebDAV server. Don't worry, you don't have all of those, you probably just need email spreadsheet. I've got three format types. If my friend has numbers, I can send it as a numbers document. I can send it as a PDF, which almost all computers can read, or I can send it as an Excel file, especially if my friend is a Windows user. Then all I need to do is enter my friend's email address and press send. That's numbers for iPad.